Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to study about the Baltimore classification system. This is the classification system for viruses. As we all know that viruses lie on the borderline of living and non-living organisms. Therefore, they do not obey the classification system designed for the living organisms like five kingdom system, the biological taxonomic uh, categories. These are not followed by the viruses and therefore the viruses are assigned with a specific scientific classification called Baltimore classification system. And the principle of Baltimore classification is the technique of transcription of viruses or we can say the manner of RNA synthesis of viruses that how the viruses synthesize their messenger RNA for the purpose of protein synthesis. This was first created by David Baltimore in 1971. He was an American biologist and Nobel laureate as well. There are seven classes in the Baltimore classification system represented by Roman numerals. These classes are designed on the basis of the genome of the viruses, whether the genome of viruses is made up of DNA or RNA, it is uh, single standard or double standard or if it is single standard then is it positive sense single standard or negative sense single standard, all we will discuss in this lecture. We should also keep in mind the central dogma of biology. Central dogma is basically the theory which states that all the organisms, the genes of the organisms or DNA of the organisms is first converted into messenger RNA, the process is called transcription and then this messenger RNA is used to synthesize proteins, this process is called translation. So here we will discuss the technique of messenger RNA synthesis as we have studied the messenger RNA synthesis technique or the transcription technique. This is basically the basis of Baltimore classification system. So the first class, this comprises the double standard DNA viruses. The first class of Baltimore classification system comprises the double standard DNA viruses. These are the viruses which follow normal transcription and translation techniques in which their double standard DNA is converted into RNA that is called messenger RNA and this RNA is then translated into proteins. So the, for the conversion of DNA into messenger RNA, RNA polymerase enzyme is needed. We should keep in mind that for synthesis of DNA from DNA, DNA polymerase enzyme is required. For synthesis of RNA from DNA, DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme is required. While synthesis of RNA from RNA requires RNA dependent RNA polymerase enzymes. So there are three enzymes involved in this process. DNA polymerase, DNA dependent RNA polymerase, RNA dependent RNA polymerase. So here the DNA is the precursor of RNA and the enzyme required is RNA polymerase. This process is called transcription. So these viruses have a normal uh, genome of double strand DNA which is readily converted into messenger RNA which is translated into proteins. These are the viruses which belong to the first class, their genome is made up of double standard DNA. The first one is pox virus, it causes smallpox, chickenpox uh, in the humans as well as it also affects the animals. Adenoviruses, these cause uh, respiratory tract infections like common cold, papilloma virus, herpes virus and papovirus. These are transmitted through sexual routes, so these are called STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. These are basically sexually transmitted diseases. Papillomavirus and papovirus, these cause, cause genital warts, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, uterine cancer. Herpes virus, this cause skin lesions as well as lesions on the genitalia of both male and female. So the second class of Baltimore classification system comprises the viruses with genome of single standard DNA. So these are called single standard DNA viruses. Single standard DNA viruses basically they use their this single strand of DNA and synthesize another strand, the data strand. So this single strand is used as template to synthesize the data strand for DNA and in this way the single strand DNA is converted into double strand DNA. The enzyme required here is DNA polymerase because we have stated earlier that for synthesis of DNA from DNA, DNA polymerase enzyme is desired. Here double standard DNA is synthesized from this single standard DNA and this double standard DNA act as intermediate. 
so again this double stranded dna it is ready to to be transcribed into messenger rna using enzyme rna polymerase enzyme so this will be the dna dependent rna polymerase enzyme which will convert this double stranded dna into messenger rna which will be translated into proteins examples of these viruses are very common the parvovirus and sarcovirus parvovirus cause git infection gastrointestinal tract infections viral diarrhea etc and sarcovirus cause infectious anemia it in the birds it cause feather and beak disease next class is double stranded rna viruses so these viruses have the genome of double stranded rna basically these viruses comprise two strands one strand is called positive sense strand and the other strand is called negative sense strand positive sense strand is resembling messenger rna the positive sense strand resembles the sequences of messenger rna or it can serve as messenger rna and can readily be translated into proteins while negative sense strand the sequence the nitrogen based sequence of the neg negative sense strand are complementary to messenger rna therefore it has to synthesize a complementary strand which will resemble the messenger rna or positive sense strand which can be converted into proteins so the positive sense strand can readily be converted into proteins while for in case of negative sense strand it will synthesize the positive sense strand or messenger rna strand and their uh, new strands will be able to be converted into proteins their uh, positive sense has direction of 5 to 3 prime while negative sense has direction of 3 to 5 prime in, uh, in case of double stranded rna viruses these viruses have two strands of rna one strand is positive sense and the other strand is negative sense these both strands are separated from each other the positive sense we have stated there that it serve as messenger rna and can be converted into proteins or can be translated into proteins when case of negative sense this will synthesize a positive sense or messenger rna strand which will be translated into proteins uh, their examples are rheovirus and birna virus rheovirus cause encephalitis meningitis and pneumonia in human beings while the birna virus cause disease in poultry which is termed as infectious bursal disease ibd fourth class is positive sense single stranded rna viruses we have discussed rna may be positive sense or negative sense so here it is positive sense while next classification this will be negative sense so the viruses having single stranded genome of positive sense it can easily be translated into proteins because this serve as messenger rna their nucleotide sequences are just like messenger rna therefore this can be translated readily into proteins the examples are toga virus polio virus fmd virus hepatitis a virus coronavirus calcivirus and picornavirus toga viruses these cause skin infection fever and body rash the polio virus we all know that it causes paralysis of the body parts most often the limbs foot and mouth disease where it is the infectious viral infection of animals in which blisters appear in their feet and mouth therefore this is called foot and mouth disease hepatitis a virus it is basically inflammation of liver the coronavirus it causes respiratory tract infections or more specifically sars it causes sars severe acute respiratory syndrome calcivirus it causes cat flu and picornaviruses picornaviruses cause endocarditis and meningitis fifth class it comprises the viruses with genome of negative sense single stranded rna so these are negative sense single stranded rna viruses as we have stated earlier that negative sense it is complementary to messenger rna and cannot be translated into proteins in this manner therefore this negative sense strand of rna it serve as template and synthesize the data strand of rna which is just like messenger rna or we can say which is like positive sense rna the enzyme used here for synthesis of rna from rna is called rna dependent rna polymerase enzyme so enzyme used here is rna dependent rna polymerase enzyme which convert the negative sense rna into positive sense rna 
which can be translated into proteins. Common examples of this uh, class are arthromyxovirus, it includes influenza virus which causes respiratory tract infections, bunya virus which causes Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Next is the paramyxovirus, it causes parainfluenza and mumps. Sixth class of Baltimore classification is single standard RNA reverse transcription viruses. These are called reverse transcription viruses because reverse transcriptase enzyme is required in their life cycle. So they bear the genome of single standard RNA. The single standard RNA it serves as template strand and synthesized a complementary strand of DNA. So a hybrid of single standard RNA and DNA is produced. The enzyme required here is reverse transcriptase enzyme which will convert RNA into DNA. Then ribonuclease enzyme comes and ejects this single strand of RNA while the DNA replicates another strand so double stranded DNA is produced. This double stranded DNA is then converted into messenger RNA by the process of transcription and then translated into proteins. Common examples are HIV and retroviruses which are sexually transmitted and cause AIDS in humans. The seventh class of this classification system is double standard DNA reverse transcription viruses. These viruses have double standard DNA just like class first of Baltimore classification system. But the difference is that this double standard DNA is converted into RNA which is again converted into DNA using reverse transcriptase enzyme. Therefore, these are separately placed in class 7, the double standard DNA with reverse transcriptase enzyme viruses. Here the single standard RNA virus genome serve as intermediate substrate. We will show here. These viruses have double standard DNA. First of all, this DNA is converted into single standard RNA using RNA polymerase enzyme. This is DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme. Then Instead of conversion of this RNA into proteins, this RNA is again, again it is converted into double standard DNA using reverse transcriptase enzyme. Therefore, these viruses are called reverse transcription viruses. So the question arises here that why this RNA genome was converted into DNA? The reason lying behind that is this DNA had some gaps in their nucleotide sequences. It was not a perfect DNA. So therefore, this DNA synthesized uh, RNA which was again converted into double stranded DNA by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. Here this DNA has been repaired. After the repair work, the DNA again it was converted to messenger RNA using the DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme and this RNA was translated into proteins. Common examples are coliovirus, this is also called cauliflower mosaic virus and hepatinovirus it causes hepatitis B infection the inflammation of liver so this was all about the Baltimore classification system